sounds so stupid. Yeehaw! Howdy, guys! Did you get it because of what I'm wearing? Welcome back to my men's fall and winter essentials series. So today I wanna to talk about wool blazers for the cooler parts of the year. Now you might've already seen my video about navy wool blazers in my men's wardrobe essential series. If you haven't, I've linked it in the video description below. So be sure to check that out first because I'm gonna assume we are all on the same page in regard to just knowing the differences between a sport coat versus a blazer and how your blazer should fit. So there's a couple key differences between your year round blazers and your fall and winter ones. So let's get into what those differences are. Numero uno, the number one most important difference during this time of year is fabric weights. So you're gonna want a heavier wool fabric like Harris Tweed for your fall and winter blazers for three reasons. First, it's gonna keep you a lot warmer during this time of year. The second is that the heavier weight of that fabric will complement the other heavier items you're gonna be wearing. So like your wool ties, sweaters, and your wool trousers. And the third reason is that if it has a tighter weave like Harris Tweed, it's gonna be more robust and repel water and snow a heck of a lot better. So I'm just gonna get a little technical for a moment. Ideally, for your fall and winter blazers, you want the fabric weight to be somewhere between 12 ounces all the way up to 20 ounces. Typically, for your year-round blazer, it's gonna be somewhere, the fabric weight's gonna be somewhere between eight to 10 ounces. And if you live in a more tropical environment where it's hot and humid, then I always like to go with a fabric weight that's around six ounces. Just know that it's really hard to see just in pictures, the differences between fabric weights, you really need to go into the stores and feel them and you'll understand then what is a lighter weight fabric versus a heavier weight fabric. All in all, a conclusion to this section, make sure during this time of year, you go with a thicker, heavier weight fabric. That's what's gonna keep you nice and warm. The second difference is the colors that look great for this time of year. So unlike your year round blazers, which are usually navy and gray, which are great, this is the time of year where you can really insert some nice, rich, more jewel tone colors. Basically, I kind of always think of the leaves and how they change throughout fall. So you get those really beautiful, rich browns and burgundies, oranges, yellows, um, greens, and you know, insert some blues in there. So I talk more about these colors as well as how to wear them based on your skin tone in my series intro video. So I'm gonna link that in the video description below. Be sure to check that out if you want more info. The last and final thing to consider for your fall and winter blazers are the patterns. So because you're gonna be wearing heavier items, bold patterns work really great for your blazers. Some of my favorites are herringbone, which usually most tweed um, blazers are, have an actual herringbone pattern to it, and I love that. I love good plaids. I also really like a nice um, window pane. Window pane you can also wear year round too. So if you want to wear something that's not a solid color, these patterns are fantastic and really is a great way to just mix it up. Just please be careful when you are wearing patterns. I don't want to be seeing you wearing a pattern blazer with a pattern shirt and a pattern tie and pocket square. That is going way too overboard. You always want to stick with one item that is bold, that has a pattern, and keep the rest solid or neutral. That way you look sharp and put together and not like a crazy person. As for how to wear your fall and winter blazers, I styled a couple different outfits for you. So the first is a green blazer, which I paired with this navy sweater, wool trousers, and a pair of brown boots. Check out the link in the video description for outfit details. Next, I styled this camel blazer with a chambray shirt, wool tie, and pocket square. And to complete this look, I added a pair of dark wash jeans and chocolate double monk straps. Lastly, I styled this gray textured blazer with a white white dress shirt, navy herringbone tie, and a pair of dark wash jeans and black wingtips. Hooey! That's it, y'all. We are done. That's everything you need to know about fall and winter blazers. Be sure to check out my website, linked, I don't know why I'm talking in a Western accent. Be sure to check out my website, linked in the video description below, for outfit details and all of my favorite fall and winter blazers that will fit every price range. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. <laughs> And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Woo! Hoo-wee! 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 Hoo-wee!